one of the things that I would want to consider in this instructional material for new instructors is uh, more of a marketing strategy when it comes to the, cl uh, the classwork itself. What we're doing as instructors is that we are selling ideas and we are selling concepts. So for us to do this, we need to get our students involved. We need to have them feel as though they actually need this material. If we don't present the material in a way in which they have a buy-in, and if we don't present the material in a way that they want to learn it, they're never going to retain it. It's not going to mean anything to them, and they're going to feel like they've wasted their time, and in effect, you'll feel like you're wasting your time. So when we look at our target audience, our students themselves, we need to understand where they're coming from, and we need to know how to address their background, their demographics, their mindset when we're presenting this material. And that's in a way to get them more actively uh, involved. And we want them to sit there and go, yeah, this, my instructor makes a very good point. I would really like to learn this because I can see in the future how it may be valuable to me in, in my future career. And see, one of the problems I had, I, at first, uh, the the first curriculum that I was involved in was mechanical engineering. And for me, I was always a hands-on person. When I went to school for mechanical engineering, it was all theoretical. And I couldn't relate to it. I still remember my one professor, he was talking about, well, this is a, a spring constant, and this is a damper, and it's going over an irregular surface. And I couldn't relate to that. I, I actually dropped out of the class, and I failed it. And the third time I took it, I finally... It, a light bulb clicked in my head, and I was like, uh, isn't that the same thing as a monoshock roof suspension on a dirt bike? And he's like, oh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. And I'm like, why didn't you tell me this? You know, real-world practical application I could relate to. I had a dirt bike sitting in my, in my garage, and I'm like, if you would have told me that it's the same thing as a rear suspension on my motorcycle, I would have been able to relate to this material, but instead they left it theoretical. And I was clueless. I didn't know what he was talking about. I couldn't relate it to, to something I dealt with on a daily basis. So when you're able to take a, a, a hindrance in learning in an experience like that, and you know that you don't want to repeat that with your own students, you have to bring in these real world practical applications of the information that you're covering, and then they can relate to it, and, and that light bulb will come on a whole lot quicker.